Kelly criterion answers a simple question. How much should I bet to maximise my profits? Which is fantastic. I mean, that is the question that I actually want answered. So how does it do it? Well, say you're tossing a coin and all you have is $100. So that's in your betting account. That's the money that you are able to invest. Now this isn't a fair coin. And you know that you win 60% of the time. Yet, you'll double your money if you win and lose your stake if you lose. So the game is biased in your favour. So, you know, you should bet. You should invest. But how much? And that's what Kelly tells us. So, what? would you do and why so Kelly tells us what percentage of your pot you should bet to maximize returns in the long run so an important point there is percentage of your pot in this case we only have a hundred dollars but I mean, if you had a million, of course you should bet more. Given that, you know, you're, you've been given the opportunity to bet in a rigged game. I mean, in this system, the odds are in your favor. Now, if you bet everything, so you know the game is rigged in your favor. But if you bet everything, and you're going to, you know, you're going to get the opportunity to make this bet a hundred times for example well then you're bound to lose once you know it's not the game is rigged and you are 100% certain of the result no you have a 60% chance of winning so 40% of the time you're gonna lose so if I bet a hundred dollars I might win the first time and be happy. I might win the second time. But I'm not going to win five times in a row. So it's not optimal to bet everything. And if you lose all your money because you were betting everything, then you're, not, you're, then you're unable to bet any more. So even though you know that the game is biased, you don't have anything to take advantage of, of the fact that you have this opportunity. So it's that balance, that balance between, you know, not missing out on an opportunity, but not being too greedy and exposing yourself to too much risk that Kelly lets us do. So the solution it's simple if you double your money from winning and the probability of winning is P then we should bet 2P minus 1 so if the probability of winning is less than a half then don't bet in our example, we're saying that the probability of winning is 0 0.6. So then 2p minus 1 would be 0 0.2, as we say. So if p is equal to 0 0.6, we had $100, we should bet 2 times 0 0.6 minus 1, which is equal to 0 0.2, or 20% of our 
pot which is $20. If the probability of winning was say 0 0.75 then we should bet 50% of our money. If the probability of winning was 0 0.6 and we bet $20 we could lose so then we'd be down to $80. Next time we'd bet 20% of that so we'd bet $16. If we lost we'd be down to what $64 and so on. So by betting a percentage we, we, we never run out or we shouldn't run out because even if we're down to $1 we'd bet 20 cent. Of course the game is rigged in our favour so typically we should be making money though with anything random you could just be unlucky. You could have a run of 10 losses and be down to very little. So that's the Kelly Criterion, a very powerful and useful concept since it actually answers the question that we want answered. So then we know, okay, if the probability, if our estimate of the probability is greater than a half and we're doubling our money if we win, then this is we know how much we should be betting. Of course it doesn't mean that now you magically will be always making money. Um, you, are, you are only estimating the probability most of the time and there are all kinds of factors which we'll go into more next week.